Uh, is this thing on? Is this thing on? Hello? Is this on? Okay, well, here we go. We've all sat through presentations and lectures where the teacher or presenter puts up way too many words on a screen and just reads out the slide. And we hate it. Why? Well, in the late 90s, Richard Mayer put forth a cognitive theory of multimedia learning for consideration because he determined that people retain new information most effectively when it is presented through both words and pictures. Veronica and Shaughnessy, 2005. However, he also determined reading out 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 reading and allowing the brain time to select, organize, and integrate the information, students experience more meaningful learning. Therefore, I found the potential of the cognitive theory of multimedia learning appealing and decided to explore what implementing Mayer's theory could do to develop critical thinking skills within my students. Benson and Graham, 2013, found that when teachers allowed students through the use of technology and media creation to collaborate and explore the question being asked, the students connected to the information and material in a more meaningful way. For example, I will be using Tiki Toki Timeline and Google Docs in my class for students to collaborate on a major project. They will be working with a number of essays and creating a presentation directed at people who may have never read the essays. They'll be collecting and creating multimedia assets in Google Docs and arranging them on the timeline in a way that reflects their understanding of the material and how best to present the information to the new reader. These types of collaborative projects, using various online collaborative programs, will require students to carefully consider the visual elements associated with the narrative they wish to project, all the while enhancing their critical thinking as they are forced to edit and ensure they are conveying the intended message without relying so heavily on the teachers for answers or reassurances. 4. As these people suggest, the teacher's role as observer rather than participant in the student's collaborative thought process or line of inquiry and discussion means that students do not come to rely on the teacher for answers but rather work to solve the problems and seek answers for themselves. They become critical thinkers. And how cool would that be?